Namaste, Spagat. Hello and welcome to my curry workshop. Today I'm going to be sharing with you a new recipe. And that recipe is peppers stuffed with peas and paneer. Also known as shimmer merch stuffed with matar paneer. So let's have a look at the ingredients. So we've got the uh, peppers. Uh, I've got five here. The recipe asks for four. The reason for that is when you buy the peppers, they come in different sizes from quite small to uh, something to be quite large. I've just added a, an extra pepper in there. I've got 100 grams of diced pepper. We have oil. I'm going to use three tablespoons of that. One teaspoon of cumin seeds. I'll be adding in 200 grams of a diced onion, red onion, approximately two medium onions. Uh, once that's cooked through, I'll be adding in two teaspoons of garlic ginger paste. To make the masala, I'll then be blending three tomatoes, medium-sized tomatoes, adding in a tablespoon of tomato puree, and once that's cooked into the sauce, salt to taste. Once the masala's been cooking for a few minutes and the rawness of the tomatoes has been cooked out, I'll be adding in my spices. Half a teaspoon of turmeric, one quarter of a teaspoon of cumin powder. Uh, the reason for that is we've already got uh, cumin seeds in the recipe. Half a teaspoon of hot chilli powder, or to your liking, more or less as needed and half a teaspoon of coriander powder. One teaspoon of red chilli flakes. To make the filling, I'm going to use 200 grams of pre-cooked rice, 200 grams of grated crumbled paneer, last but not least, garden peas. We'll put that in, mix it all together, cook for a while, add water as needed, and then as we get towards the end of the cooking process, we'll add in half a teaspoon of garam masala, one teaspoon of uh, kasuri methi, two tablespoons of uh, coarsely chopped coriander, a little bit of water to adjust consistency. You need to be looking for quite a dry mix because we're not making a gravy, we're making a, a, a quite a firm filling. Uh, so I'll be adding water as needed, just enough. Once the masala's cooked through, we will then stuff the peppers, uh, put them into a oven proof dish, and we'll top them with approximately about two tablespoons per pepper of mozzarella cheese, more or less, depending on your liking. The peppers will then go into the oven and they'll cook for around 10 to 15 minutes, uh, gas mark 6, 180 degrees, until the mozzarella is nice and gooey and golden brown. As this is a stuffed pepper recipe, we need to hollow out the peppers. So let's take a pepper. Quite an easy process. We uh, cut off the top, so I'm going to keep those, uh, and then take out the centres. So take a sharp knife and just carefully cut through to reveal the uh, heart of the pepper. And then with, uh, I'll say, a smaller knife, just carefully work around the core. You don't have to cut all the way down, so it'll pull out in a second. Releasing the core from the outer. Put your fingers in, grab hold, and out they come. And then into a bowl remove any remaining seeds. So I'll now repeat that process for the remaining peppers. So I'm just going to blend the tomatoes. So I've coarsely chopped them, put them into my blending jug. I've got one tablespoon of tomato puree. Let's get blending. Keep going until the uh, most of the chunks have been removed. It doesn't matter if there's a few left in there. And I'm just add a little bit more water. Too much. So there we go, our blended tomatoes for use later in the recipe. So let's get cooking. First pan I'm going to char and scorch the peppers and in the second pan I'm going to uh, cut the onions. It's going to take about 10, maybe 15 minutes to get them nice and golden brown. Um, so I'm going to get them both underway at once. Um, if you don't have two pans, I don't want to do it that way, do your peppers first and then move on to your onions. For the peppers I'm just going to have a small amount of oil, one teaspoon, and for the onions, three tablespoons. Just let the oil come to temperature. Start by getting the uh, cumin seeds into uh, the oil. I'm just going to let them cook for say about 30 seconds. The cumin starts to release a nice aroma now, so I'm going to put in the the onions. What I'm looking to do is uh, to sauté. I'll cut these down, turn them up to medium heat, 
until they're uh, at least golden, add some more flavouring, and I might push for golden brown. We'll leave those now for around 10 minutes, keep stirring to avoid burning. Okay, moving on to the peppers, we're going to scorch the peppers. That's nice and hot. So what we're going to do, I'm going to place each of the peppers into the pan. Ideally on their sides. Put in the tops as well. And carefully, what we're looking to do is move the peppers around so that all sides become scorched. Once they're scorched, sufficiently we'll then take them back out. So just carefully keep moving the peppers around. You hear lots of sizzling and banging, which is a good, good sign. A little tip to get the uh, tops charred, turn them upside down on an angle. That one's done. See how the onions are getting on? Just starting to turn translucent. Another probably 10 minutes there to cut those down. So another one done. That's the last of the peppers, a little bit of char on there. You can char for longer if you want to. Put those to one side, have a quick look at those. They look nice. And the final thing to char off is the diced pepper. We we'll get those in. They shouldn't take long. The other has been browning for 10 minutes now. Give it a few more minutes and then we'll start to add in the other ingredients. Don't want to cut these fully, want to keep some crunch. I think at that point we're going to turn the heat off. The onions are uh, golden brown, I'm going to go with them at that level. So in goes two heaped teaspoons of garlic ginger paste. And stir that in. Cook out the rawness. And then I'm going to add in the uh, blended tomatoes. Stir them in and then allow them to come back to temperature and cook out any rawness. The uh, masala has been cooking through for a couple of minutes now, all bubbling away, little craters forming. So I'm going to go in with the spices. Good mix in. And also uh, red chilli flakes, one teaspoon of. Add in a little bit of water on the lid, turn the heat down slightly and we're just going to leave that to simmer for about five minutes. Let's have a look to see how the masala is getting on. That was nice. Have to stir. I'm going to add in a uh, touch of salt so it's salt to taste. I'm just going to go with a pinch. Touch my water. Place the lid and I'll leave for another few minutes. Let's see how the uh, masala is getting on. That looks nice. Okay, so at this point I'm going to add in the rice, the diced peppers and the paneer. And I may need to add a splash of water to ensure we get the right consistency. We're not looking for a gravy, we're looking for something quite firm so it can stuff the peppers. So let's go, let's get the diced peppers in. 100 grams of uh, pre-cooked rice. Let's stir. We coat all the rice. I'm just going to put more water in. Add in the grated paneer and stir it in. in the peas. So now it's just a case of bringing it all to temperature. One final check of the uh, filling. Have a little taste. Mmm. Smokiness coming through from those charred peppers. A little bit of heat from the chilli and the chilli flakes. And at this point we're going to turn off the heat. So we're just going to let it cool for a few minutes uh, and that's to allow the temperature to drop so we don't burn ourselves while stuffing the peppers. Now that the mixture's uh, cooled slightly I'm going to uh, stuff each of the peppers. So take one pepper and just carefully pop in the mixture. it down try 
and make it as flat as you can. Just repeat for each of the peppers. So that's the peppers stuffed. So what I'm now going to do is top them with mozzarella cheese. Just carefully add on the mozzarella. I think that will do nicely. I will now transfer into the oven and cook uh, at 180 degrees or gas mat 4 for around 10 minutes until the cheese has melted and it becomes golden brown. So they've been in for about 15 minutes now. Let's have a look. Oh, beautiful. And I've also put into the oven the tops of the lids. So I'm going to finish off with a sprinkle of garam masala and I'll sprinkle over some coarsely chopped coriander. And place on the lids. Little hats on. There you have it, peppers stuffed with matar paneer. Really gorgeous dish. Don't forget you may have some spare filling that can be used to stuff more peppers or even to have as a tasty snack uh, alongside. If you like my recipes, please don't forget to like and subscribe to my YouTube channel. So that's it from me for now. So uh, goodbye, alvida, and see you on my next video.